Hello and welcome back to another foggy day in Atlas. It's very foggy actually. Today what I want to do is very simple. Well, it isn't very simple, but it is simple. Never mind the simpleness of this plan, whether it's simple or not. Today what I want to do is I want to build another new ship. Why? Because, well, we've been landlocked for quite a long time now. Pretty much feels like forever. And I want to build a new ship. I want to use fancy buildy Mastercraft and journeyman planks or whatever it is that I have lying around. In fact, what we should probably do is check our ships to see which one of them is currently holding all the blueprints. Now, in theory, this one should have some. It was my combat vessel originally. However, I'm not too sure. Oh, you've got plenty of blueprints. Okay, so. Um, we've even got sh mythical shipyards. That's nice. But the problem is I can't really make mythical stuff because I don't really have any mythos, especially that much. We will eventually go get some, I promise. So let's go with we'll go with uh, this one, masterwork. Yeah. Um, do we have what else have we got? Are these small? Okay, small shipyards. We'll go with a legendary shipyard for a small ship. Even though we don't, I'm not really going to be making a small ship, it'd be fun to have it. Um, is that it? Do we not have any? We've got a cannon here. The legendary ship cannon, but I think I've got a better cannon blueprint somewhere else. Okay, so we got that. Now what we need to do is we need to find some good armor with some intelligence boosting capabilities. So, nope. Mm, nope. Come on. Uh, not, not the mythical stuff though, because the mythical stuff you can't really make right now. Health, oxygen, hypothermia. Uh, reduced fortitude, melee damage, oxygen, hypothermia. Melee damage. Uh, do they not exist anymore? Jeez, come on. Last, I've never had to search so many. They're mythical, useless for me. What about you, Fordham? Uh, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. What about this guy? Hypothermic. It looks... Nah, surely... Like, you can't go through this many without seeing anything give you an intelligence boost. Maybe they got rid of that. Really? They got rid of that? It, it, maybe I just got very unlucky with my drops? Oh well, well I'm not going to waste all my time looking at all of these to figure that out. Okay, so we've got that. You don't have any planks on you, do you? Uh, it would appear not. Okay. What about you? You got anything? Nope, oh, you just got some spare things. Okay, now let's go check the back paint. What the hell? There we go. Let's go check the back paint, see if we can't see any on this ship. Excuse me. Excuse me, Kevin, do. Uh, just ignore the missing holes in the ship. No blueprints on this ship? What about you? Do you guys have blueprints? You got something in you. Cargo racks. Cargo racks are not blueprints. Okay, where are these blueprints? I know we have them somewhere. Must be... Must be in the galleon. Must be. Better be. Hope it is. Um... Actually, getting on the galleon is a bit of a pain in the butt at the moment because... Uh, I don't have... Eh. Eh, there we go. Got it. The ladder on the back of the galleon's broken. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> Half of it's missing. Okay, so what have you got? You got four blueprints. Your maps. What have you got? Okay, so we're gonna take this one. Yep, yeah, and we'll take that one too, just in case. We need. Well, we've only got this one and uh, it's a medium. Medium. Yeah, we want mediums. Okay, now what are you? Mythical medium, legendary medium. Yeah, we'll take the legendary medium stuff. We might as well go with good quality materials. Uh, the sailors, I'm not too worried about. Um, because I've got the modded sails on, and I figure I might as well just use that. So what I've got to do is I'm gonna get stuck here, right? Yeah. <laughs> what we got to do is I've got to go and get these guys built up. Now, in order to do that, 
I'm gonna have to buy a bunch of resources because I don't have all the materials mined, like five of different everythings. But luckily for us, this guy here should sell it. No, he sells. He gives us gold. This person should have all five woods. I think. Well, it's got five of everything else. Yeah, it's got all the woods. So I'm going to have to get all of that stuff up and ready for us. So give me a minute to do a bunch of math to figure out exactly how much we're going to need. My guess is a lot. That's not how I end the recording. So I have finally purchased everything that I need to build. At least I think I have, except for these. These I have to actually cook up the alloy. Oh, gotta buy hide as well. Actually, gotta remember that hide. But um, yeah, hopefully I've got everything else I need. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna craft one of these. All right, bam. We need that one. Awesome. We are going to also craft up. Uh, what do we need? Like twelve of these. We need twelve of those gunpoint. Actually, no. Hold on. Eh, no. Almost made a mistake. Almost, but not quite. In order to get the best out of this, we need to go pick up our little crow, crow, crowley, crowley, crowley. I named him after a character on Supernatural, but now I don't know if I had to call if I should call him Crowley or Crowley because he's a crow. I don't know. Figure it out. Excuse me. I need you because he gives me the brain boost, which gives me like an extra 25%, which may give me an extra 0.02% crafting bonus on top of the uh, normal bonus I'd get. Like, I really don't get much of a bonus at all using it, but you know what? Every little bit helps. Everything counts. Who knows? It may one day be the difference between a success and a failure. So, let's go here. Let's craft 12 of these. Now, okay, can I just stop that for a sec? I'm curious about something. Okay, so that's got 144% durability. What if it's, if I craft another one? Okay, 144. Okay, we'll take that out and then we craft one. So it's going to give me 144? No, it doesn't. Okay. Interesting. So let's cr we've done this wrong. So hey, so we can craft four more. Let's see. Good to know. It's for the cannons. 144.08. No. So this. 0.53 is the best one we've got so far. I'll craft one. What have you got? 0.13. And craft one more. That gives me point. Uh, not even 0.44. And might as well craft one more. 0.44.22. Yeah. So yeah, it is what it is. For cannons, we might be a little bit more um, stingy on the crafting, I think, because that's really going to, that would make a big difference. The 1% might not seem like a big deal, but at the end of the day, it can make a pretty big difference when, when you're desperate and you're going down to the wire in a battle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft five of these, um, just one. Alright, 5, so 130, 1, 30, craft one more, and 130.6. So we had 131, so 131 is our best one. So we need, what, we got 4 there, what do we need all up, 28 or something? So we need another 24 or so. So craft all 24 of those. All right, and while you're doing that, give me this so we can go place this down. Now, like I said at the end of the last episode, I'm gonna put all the, all the mining, all the mining, all the ship production stuff is gonna come off over here. And what I'm thinking, the large shipyard it's going to be right here at the end of this little port area. Alright, if I can just go K mode. Scroll back down. My brother's kids are screaming again. Really wish he would move out and get his own house. Uh, so that they would stop bugging me in mine. 
but apparently that's not something that I guess that happened in my life. Okay, so there's fishes and stuff swimming in the, inside the inside the uh, blueprint at the moment, which is why it's coming up red sometimes and popping up blue at others. So once it bam, ah, how do we go? How'd the placement go? Pretty good. We quite we quite happy with the placement? I think we are. I think we've done good. And it's definitely deeper, deep enough. Okay. Step one, we mark that down as a success. We're getting somewhere. So what I've got to do now is, well, I'm going to go make up a bunch of alloy while these kids are running around doing my head in. Um, <laughs> and once we come back, we can start putting together the ship. Alrighty. So, I've managed to get the ship basic framework up and running. I didn't bother showing you guys that. I've done it quite a few times before and it's not really that exciting. It's just basically slapping these down. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I've got up the top, I've got all the good planks up top that protecting the ship and the less, the less good planks? Planks that aren't as good, they're down the bottom. So everything's all nice and neat and in the most optimal position. You can place some cannons down here. The highest, the strongest cannons came down under here so they've got the most protection. But now what I thought we'd do is, because I haven't done this in a while, I thought what we would do is a little speedy up time lapsey thingamabob of me building the ship because in my opinion the building the cabin and whatnot is the most exciting part about building a ship. The rest of the stuff is, like, all this is pretty boring. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do that. A little speedy up time lapsey thing in my bob. I haven't done one of those in quite a long time. Um, I, it's mainly because I really, I don't know why I haven't done it. I just haven't done it. So, without any more wasting time, let's get into the speedy up part.
So the ship is basically finished. She's only got one thing left to do, and that's to put the crew on it. Now, because my crew have a habit of, have a habit have a habit of dying, I'm gonna give them a bunch of plate armor that we've made up earlier. So they will not die anymore. Well, they'll die slower. They're probably still gonna die. I mean, let, let, let's be honest. My crew aren't exactly known for being the brightest or the smartest group of people ever. Um, but they're gonna be the most shiniest now at least. So I'm gonna put all of this stuff on, like so. In fact, I'm actually not gonna do this with you guys because I'm starting to notice that this is going to take quite a bit of time to do. So you're not gonna wanna see that, that's boring. That's just annoying. But what we can do is I can go up here and I can show you what I have come up with up here wise. So we've got a few cannons here at the front. That will probably be the last things I crew. Um, to have this ship as it is currently set up, I don't have a steering wheel. <laughs> anyway, to uh, crew this entire ship the way it's currently set up, I need like another 30, I need to put like 38 levels into crew or something like that. So it's gonna take it's gonna take a minute <laughs> to, before this ship is fully crewed. Thankfully, using the is a Mastercraft shipyard. I can't remember. You do get like an extra ten levels or so to put into your ship. I think from memory, it has been quite a long time. What is it? Masterwork here. Yeah. Um, ten levels or so to put into your ship. So that should help out a little. And with the custom sails, I don't have to worry about putting any levels into weight. So it should work out pretty, pretty good, pretty nice and uh, fine. Do I not have a ser seriously? I, uh, how did I forget to put a damn steering wheel on a ship? Like, it just, it, it never ceases to, me, to amaze me, the silly stuff I do sometimes. Let's go, have I got any, have I got enough resources left in here? Uh, yeah, apparently I've got plenty. We don't need, there, no, 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 there we go, much better. Much, much better. Now we can finally <laughs> actually launch the ship. That's not painted, by the way. It's just really dark right now. It's 5.30 in the game morning. So it's like a sunrise launching here we're going to have. So eventually I will paint it, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, frankly, I can't be bothered. <laughs> um, Australia. So we go here. Bam. We got our steering wheel. We're good to go. We're ready, and we got this little bit of a protection from our our, our sail. But it's time to launch this ship, right? Let's go release ship. Bam! It's not sinking. That's great. And I know what I'm going to call this. Diablo's despair. I think that's how you spell that word. But yeah, there we go. Nice and finished. Now this ship I'm hoping it bloody well better be a giant powerhouse of a thing. Um, we're gonna upgrade it as we go. This is gonna be like the warship of the fleet. Dawnbreaker is gonna be like a, a, a trophy ship. I don't know. <laughs> Memory. I could have just upgraded the Dawnbreaker but I decided to just stick with this one. Brand new one. Nice and shiny. Ship of the line. First ship we've built in a very long time. And I think it's coming out pretty good. Whoa. Apparently I'm on the sail now. I don't know. I don't want to be on the sail. What I wanted to do was turn around and close that door. And then close this door. But yeah. It's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crew this ship up. I'm going to make a whole bunch of cannonballs. And then in the next episode, I think we're going to take her out. And we're going to see just how good or how bad she is at doing her job. So until next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that other stuff. And as always, have a good one, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! I'm going to begin this tedious job. It's going to take me a minute. Can you just... No. Great. So I do have to do it the long way. <laughs>